So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to your Steam library, then you want to find Rainbow. You want to right click on it, and then click on Properties, and then click on Installed Files, and then click on Verify. Now once you verify this, you want to click on Browse, and then you want to find the Rainbow.exe file. Once you find it, you want to right click on it, and then click on Properties, and then click on the Compatibility tab, and then you want to take Disable Full Screen Optimizations, run this program as administrator, and run this program in Compatibility mode, and then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to Search, and then type in Check for Updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on Check for Updates, and do the updates your computer may have. Now for the next step, you want to head over to Search, and then type in Graphics Settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on Browse. Now you want to find where you have Rainbow installed, so for me it's on this PC, C Drive, Program Files 86, scroll down, Steam, scroll down again, Steam Apps, Common, and then you want to find Rainbow, here it is for me. And then you want to find the Rainbow 6 Siege.exe file, you want to double click on it, which will then make it appear here. And then click on Options, click on High Performance, and then click on Save. Now for the next step, you want to make sure the graphics card drivers are fully up to date, so I'm going to leave three links down below in the description for NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with a graphics card, so in my case I have an NVIDIA graphics card and I've got GeForce experience. Once you're on your software, you want to click on Drivers, and then click on Check for Updates. Make sure the graphics card drivers are fully up to date. Now once you complete the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.